Carlos Alessandro Brooks, of Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious vegetarian dish. Even if you're a meat lover, you're going to love this one. You won't be missing meat at all, I promise. We're going to be making a cauliflower parmigiana topped with a tomato and roasted bell pepper marinara sauce and melted mozzarella cheese. It's so flavorful. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. To start, roast a small red bell pepper right on your stove burner until the skin turns black. Then, set it aside to cool. Then, peel and chop one yellow onion and three cloves of garlic. Heat up some olive oil in a large pan. Then, add the onion and saute until translucent. Add the garlic and saute for a few additional minutes until nice and fragrant. Then, turn the heat off. Next, cut the pepper. Discard the seeds and scrape the black skin off. Then, cut it into a few pieces. In a food processor, add the onion and garlic, the pepper, and one can of San Marzano tomatoes. Blend it up, then add a handful of basil leaves, and blend it further. The sauce doesn't need to be too thin. Transfer the sauce back into the pan and heat it up. I am also adding the tomato juices that are left in the can. Add a splash of red wine, about a quarter cup. Then season with salt, fresh ground black pepper, some dry oregano, and a few red pepper flakes. Lower the heat and let the sauce simmer. You can add more or less pepper depending on how spicy you like it. Now let's work on the cauliflower. First, remove the leaves around the base. Then, cut the cauliflower down the center. Next, we'll be cutting a 1 inch slice from each side. Two nice steaks. The loose florets can be saved for a different recipe. Season both sides of the cauliflower with salt and black pepper. Add a half cup of all-purpose flour to a plate and season it with a pinch of salt and some smoked paprika. Coat all sides of the cauliflower steaks with the flour. In another dish, beat one egg with a pinch of salt and black pepper. It's important to season every layer. On a third plate, add three quarters of a cup of panko breadcrumbs, three tablespoons of grated parmesan cheese, and some dry oregano, and mix it up. Dip the cauliflower in the egg, making sure that all sides are nicely coated. Then, transfer it into the panko mixture and coat it with that. You should have a nice and thick coating of breadcrumbs around it. Transfer the cauliflower slices onto a lined baking sheet and sprinkle it with some extra panko and parmesan mixture. Add a light drizzle of olive oil and place it in a preheated oven at 400 Fahrenheit. 204 Celsius and bake it for about 25 minutes. The sauce should have reduced a little and have a nice body. Slice some fresh mozzarella cheese. The cauliflower is done when the panko is nice and brown and a knife is easily inserted in the center, but you don't want it to be too soft. Remove it from the oven and ladle a couple spoons of the sauce over it. Then, top it with the mozzarella cheese. I like to add three thick slices of the cheese to each cauliflower. Place it back in the oven, under the broiler, until the cheese is nicely melted. To serve, I like to add some extra sauce on the plate, the cauliflower steak, a little drizzle of sauce on top, and some fried basil. You can also top it with some fresh basil if you wish. If you have enjoyed the video and recipe, this is a great time to like it, leave a comment, 
and please subscribe to the channel. And it is time to eat. I love this dish. It is a great vegetarian dish and you won't be missing meat at all. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. And tomato mozzarella, not mozzarella, marinara. Come on, dude, have a marinara sauce. Huh? It's delicious. That's not what I want to say. Uh -uh. Marinara uh -uh. sauce and melted mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. This is Alessandro Buxo from Home Chef Seattle. Today I'm gonna. So from Home Chef Seattle. To, to them, to do, to, 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 to,